Hey, happy Friday to you. It is May 25th, and these are the Friday Funnies. Well, gentlemen, start your grills. Today is the start of Memorial Day weekend and the kickoff of the summer holiday season. From here, we move on to Flag Day on June 14th, Father's Day on June 17th, Independence Day on July 4th, and Labor Day on September 2nd. For some reason, there are no holidays scheduled for August. Every other month has at least one major celebratory occasion, but not August, the red-headed stepchild of months. I think what we need to do is to create a new major holiday for August. You know, August already has some designations as a month. For instance, August is National Catfish Month, National Picnic Month, and National Romance Awareness Month. And believe you me, boy, nothing says romance like a picnic basket full of catfish. But what August needs is a good stand-alone holiday that we can all participate in and give us a reason to party. Now, here's a couple ideas I came up with. For instance, I think maybe August 1st we designate as National Zucchini Day. This is a day when you can get rid of all your zucchini in the garden that has all gotten ripe at the same time. Just give it to people. August 15th, that's the Ides of August. A day when you think about things you'd rather be doing, such as I'd rather be fishing, or I'd rather be golfing, or I'd rather not eat any more zucchini. Hey, I'll tell you, if you've got any good ideas for an uh, August holiday, drop me an email and next month, or next week actually, we'll bring forth all of the suggestions and take them to a vote. In the meantime, I think this must have been some uh, national do something really stupid week because we have had a lot of participants in this week's news. <laughs> Well, actually, it was a consonant that was missing from the commencement program for the University of Texas. The program was for graduates of the Lyndon B. Johnson School of Public Affairs. As Take a look and read it again. The typesetter, the proofreader, and everybody else involved missed the missing L in public until it was time to pass out the programs. University officials have apologized for the hairy situation. A drunken man in Dubuque, Iowa, walked into the doghouse lounge with a zebra and a parrot. Gerald Reeter is 55 years old. He keeps the animals as pets, and after he'd been drinking for quite a while, he decided to take them down to the bar and show them off. Now imagine... You're sitting quietly in this same bar when a guy walks in with a zebra and a parrot. And following him are a priest, a rabbi, and Jesse Jackson. This, my friends, has the makings for one heck of a joke. <laughs> in Fruitland, Idaho, security cameras caught two men stealing a safe from the Big Star coffee shop. To conceal his identity, one robber wore a bandana while the other one had underpants on his head. What kind of a mask is this, underpants? Were they men's underpants, ladies' underpants? How do you see through underwear? You know what, did this guy just forget his bandana and decide to use his own underwear? I don't know. The thieves got away with about $500, have not yet been caught, and all of Idaho is now on the lookout for the Fruitland Fruit of the Loom felons. Which, by the way, would make an excellent name for a band. <laughs> Meanwhile, Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen of England, her underpants showed up on the auction block this week. The Queen, for some unexplained reason, le left her underwear on a private plane in Chile in 1968. And those panties showed up on eBay this week. Somebody forked over $18,000 for the Queen's bloomers. But the thing is, nobody has asked the queen why, why she doffed her drawers on the airplane. My guess, though, is that either A, she joined the Mile High Club on that flight, or B, she was planning to put them on her head to avoid recognition. Hey, that's all the news for this week. Have a great weekend. As you celebrate uh, this weekend, please remember all of the fallen servicemen and women for whom Memorial Day was created. And be sure to thank all of those who are currently serving. See you next week.